Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, hey, Good guys. evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? How do you feel this Thursday? Everything okay? <laughs> Yes. Welcome, Maria de los Angeles. We have Jessica Vanessa. So far, so good. Very good job. Nice. Good. We have Jessica Vanessa Rivas. Welcome. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome, Juan Antonio. We have Edith Lorena. Welcome. Jensi Alexandra. Veronica Cepeda. Welcome. Christian Briseño. Luz Garcia. Who else we have? Who is connecting? No, Lenny so Monterosa, welcome. Jonathan, welcome. Ana Beatriz, Pati Maranjo, welcome everyone, guys. We'll continue with our section number four, or session number four of this week. And remember, yesterday we saw about the questions, right, in the simple present. Using do and does. Yes, the question and the WH questions. But also we have the exercise on the platform. Do you remember this exercise on the platform? No sé si, bueno, ya tuvieron la oportunidad de ingresar a la plataforma y realizar este ejercicio. Creo que algunos ya lo completaron. Yo no, teacher. Hola. Hello, welcome. Sí, hola. Eh, teacher, yo no lo he hecho todavía. De hecho, Ajá. pues. Si tiene la eh, oportunidad, puede todavía hacerlo este día para que no se atrase. Bien, gracias. Sí, lo voy a hacer. Lo que pasa es que no he estado muy bien de salud, entonces he estado oh, como okay. que medio. Yes, yes. Sí, pero sí okay. lo voy a hacer, okay. teacher. Okay. Good night, Perfect. teacher. Thank you. Hey, good evening. Welcome, girl. Fatima, Sorry. you have a question? Good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome. <laughs> Fatima, do you have a question? Uh, sí, es, yes, tengo tell. una, una pregunta. Uh, yes, ¿Hasta tell. cuándo tenemos para hacer las actividades? Fíjense que Insafor pide que eh, ustedes traten de, de no atrasarse. Si les es posible terminarla hasta ahora, eh, si no pueden informarles a ellos, si tienen al menos hasta mañana pero infórmenles a ellos, porque como ellos son los encargados de, de, de ver también eso, ¿verdad? De, de que ustedes hayan ido trabajando en la plataforma. ¿Sí? Entonces traten de avanzar, avanzar lo más que puedan. Ok. Para que no se les acumule, porque ya la otra semana vamos con otra sección. Y bueno, Entiendo. Bien. Ok, so we have this exercise. In this exercise, you have this instruction that you need to put in order these words in parentheses because they are in disorder. But you need to put them in order and they are questions. For example, here, what will be the question? It says, do you exercise every day? Because the answer is yes, I exercise every day. What about number two? This one was only the example. But how do you solve number two? Because the answer is at 1 p.m. So what is the question? You need to formulate the question with these words, but to put them in order. What time do you eat lunch? That's correct, good one. What time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? And there you have the question. Remember that here you don't need to include uh, the form of the question mark because you have it here. En la plataforma ya no le van a incluir el símbolo de pregunta porque ya lo trae ahí. Okay. Yes. Solo es ordenar la, la, las palabras para formular la pregunta, pero ya tiene ahí. Y también eh, hay que fijarse bien que la primera letra tiene que ser mayúscula, que no tenga mucho espacio porque no, eso no puede dar error. La estructura también debe ser la correcta para que no les vaya a dar ningún problema. Si no, se las puede marcar con error. Aunque esté bien estructurada, pero si le ha dado como un espacio más, le va a aparecer con error. Hello. Buenas noches. Hello. Tengo mala la señal y 
este se me traba el teléfono eh, ha intentado salir y luego entrar hola 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 me escucha este sí este hello Okay, we have this exercise, guys. Now let's continue with the other parts. Se me corta la 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 clase. We have this exercise. Si gusta intente salir y luego entre. Tal vez le le mejora la señal. Porque por la lluvia. Es que está lloviendo fuerte. Está lloviendo bien fuerte aquí. Sí. Y ya intentó salir y luego entrar. Sí, ahorita. Tal vez tal vez se le restaura así. Bueno, así va a estar este, escuchando cualquier cosa. Que... Ok, perfect, perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. Now let's continue here with our next part. Now we're going to continue with our next topic. And in this one, we are going to learn about to have different abilities, skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing through interviews about schedule. So we're going to the same different activities, like uh, the routines that we have. But for that, we need to, uh, to learn some time expressions. For example, I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. All of this will be a complete sentence. I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. This is like a part of our daily routine. I leave work early in the afternoon on Thursdays. So we have a specific days. I go to bed around 11 in the, in the evening on weeknights. I get home late at night on weekends. So that is on a specific days. I stay up until midnight on Fridays. I exercise before noon on Saturdays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Now, these ones are like common expressions that we can use to express like different routines that we have every day or on a specific occasions here. Now, also to express the time, we can have seven or seven, right? When you write it, you can put it in numbers, it can be in letters. Seven o'clock, remember that o'clock it means exactly at that time. Seven a.m., that's equal to seven in the morning. Or seven p.m. is equal to seven in the evening. Do you have questions with this expression? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Kevin. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. You're good, you're fine. Excellent. That's good to see you again. No questions with these expressions? No? We have a video and we're going to watch. There we're going to see different routines of other persons. So we're going to watch it in the platform. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop. No problem with the video. No, no, no problem. It's okay. No. Thank you. Skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events. After reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? 
Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Okay, you watch the video there and you could observe different activities, right? We have activities of these persons, Brittany Davis, who is a college student. Then we have Joshua Borns, website designer. They have different professions, right, or occupations. And also we have Maya Black, a rock musician. You see, totally different professions or occupations okay. that they have, right? Or they have also different routines. Some of them work in the morning or they study. They have different time to have lunch, to go to bed, to work. Uh, other activities that you can mention. Can you help me please? Mention other activities that you could observe on the video. Um, what activities did you hear? Exercise. Excellent, that's good. They do exercise. What else? Yes. Dinner. What dinner? Team. Okay. They have dinner. What else? Yeah. What about the transportation? Yeah. What they oh, mentioned? Study. Take study. a bus. Take the bus. Very good. Any other transportation that they took? Working. Uh -huh. Another action? Work. Running. Running. Uh -huh. yes. They go running. That's okay. Good one. Now we're going to read this one and then we're going to analyze what is the sequence of their activities. So let's mm -hmm. start here. It says, What's your schedule like? So they're investigating mm -hmm. like what is the program that you have, right? That's What's the program that you have? Exactly. That is correct. Okay. Uh -huh. Como es tu horario? Is what is the program of your routine? What is your routine every day, right? It says, oh. the student reporter, Mike Spar, talks to people on the street mm -hmm. about their schedules. Let's just start with Brittany Davis, college student. Here we have like a short conversation. Mike says, what's your schedule like? <laughs> My classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. Then he says, another person, when do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. So let's check this one. We're going to verify it here. If you notice here, what's the sequence that we have? Let's analyze it. What is the first activity that Brittany Davis does? What is the first activity? Look, she gets up, right? Normally, that's yeah. the first activity we do in the morning. Get right? up. Get up, excellent. So she gets up. We put number one. What's the second activity? As it says, my classes yeah, start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7. Number two? The book, they take the book. Ah, that's good. She takes the bus. That's good. So that is the sequence, right? Number one, she gets up. Number two, she takes the bus. Yeah, and what is the next one? She goes to class. She goes to class. So that's activity. Number three, the one that she does. Breakfast. What is next? 
Eh, well, wow. <ríe> ir en gimnasio uh -huh. a Brave Se les right? quedó eso, se les quedó. <ríe> exactly, that's uh -huh. a habit. Imagine, you say, start at 8 a.m. Yeah. So I get up at 7 yeah. and take the bus yeah. to school. No breakfast. She doesn't have breakfast. <laughs> Sometimes happens, right? When we have like a lot of activities, you don't have breakfast. Too bad. Okay. Or lunch. So we are done. Number three, she goes to class. What's activity number four? Wow. She says that. Has a job wow. at the library, right? She so works. she works. That's good. She works. That's number four. And the last activity, is that you study as investigate. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight. So that is the last, the final activity that she does in her daily routine. Now, what about Joshua Bournes? He is a website designer. We're going to read it. Let's see, Edith Lorena, you're going to be Mike. Read it, please. No, no. What's your? What's your? Esa palabra no sé cómo se dice. Schedule. 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 That's good. Mm -hmm. Ah, dice. What's your schedule like? Okay. Thank you. Continue, Maria de Los Angeles, please. Your sure. Well, Joshua. well, I get up at six thirty a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. 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 Thank you. Good. Juan Antonio, please continue. How do you go to work? Thank you. Kevin, continue. Kevin, are you present? I'm before at the hot start the car at. All right, Jessica, then I work at home. I go at the home. At home. I start. I start, I start go. At eight. At eight. Around. Eight. Around. Around. One. Mm -hmm. I take. take. I take. I take, I long, I lunch break. A lunch break. break. A lunch break. A lunch break. Thank you. Gabriela, continue, please. Gabriela, Miguel. How late do you work? Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Let's continue. Veronica Cepeda, please. Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Thank you. That is correct. Okay, now let's continue. Now, let's answer this one. What about Joshua Bourne's activities, his routine? One, two, get up. Get what is out. the person? What Joshua is the first Bourne's. activity? Joshua Bourne. I get up at 6.30. So what's the first one. activity? What is number one? He has breakfast. Get up. Get up. The first activity, always need to get up, right? Yes. Because it says here, well, I get up at 6.30. Mm -hmm. Yes. So get up at 6.30. This is like a, the first activity that he does. Wow. This will be number one. All right. Wow. What about the next activity? As it says, at 6.30. He and go for a run. run. He got that the run. That's good. Go for a run. What letter is it? Letter E, right? That's letter E. That's number two. He goes for a run before breakfast. breakfast. So what okay. is activity three? Yes. Best letter, letter A. Perfect. This is the activity number three. That's great. What about the next activity? How do you go to work? work I work at activity. home, I start work. Yes, start uh -huh. work. I start work, excellent. That would be number four. Great. And this has to be number five, right? He is lunch, like the final activity that he describes in the routine. This will be five. Now let's continue with Maya Black. A rock musician. What's her routine? 
Let's start here. And let's begin. Christian, Christian Briseño, can you start, please? Your mic. What your education like? That's all right. Thank you. Let's continue. Let's see. Carlos Aturo, continue. I work. I work at nine. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. Excellent. Thank you. Luz Garcia, continue. Luz Garcia, can you listen? Hello. What do you after work? What do you do? What, what do you do after work? Thank you. Fatima, continue. I have dinner and I take a taxi home. Thank you. That's good. Continue, Ines. Okay, uh, what time do you go to bed? To bed. To bed. Thank you, that's good. Wait. Continue. Uh -huh. Kevin. Kevin, are you present? No? Jonathan? I go to bed at five in the morning. Thank you, that's great. Okay, let's analyze his sequence of activities. So we have Maya Black. What is the first activity? It says, what's your schedule like? I work at night. So she doesn't start the activities in the morning. It's a different schedule, a different program. What is the first activity? And she has dinner. She goes to work. She goes to work, look, because it says, I work at night. I go to work at 10. So that's the first activity, right? Yeah. <clears throat> goes to work is here that's activity number one what about the second activity what do you do after work el, el two sería she go home no she, has so she, she needs dinner. to work finish. <laughs> it says i have dinner finish right work. she goes to work what else he has dinner does she have dinner? She finish yes. work. Finish work. She fi exactly. That's good. Uh, good. She, she goes work. to work. Then she needs to finish work, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So this one is my number two. And after she finished work, because it says, what do you do after work? She was home. For uh, no. Three, Look, three? what do you do after work? That is the answer. I take a taxi. Look, she look, have dinner. Oh, exactly. She has That's dinner. good. That's she good because in the question walk. says, she what do you do after work? Remember, after this quest. So after work, I have dinner, it says here. So I have dinner. dinner. Yes. 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 Then, then it means luego or oh, después. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, she goes. Take a taxi home, home, right? Home. Very good. So she, she goes, goes home. home. She goes home. And this one is activity number four. And the last one, she goes to bed, right? Preparing to go to sleep. So that would be number five. Yes, and there you have it. Yes. Questions? No question. You have a similar exercise in the platform, right? En la plataforma tiene uno bien similar a este. It's very similar. It's just to read very well and check the sequence. What is activity one? What is activity two and three? All right. Now, look, guys, we're going to continue on the section number two. Let's go ahead here on this part. On the section two, well, we continue with, with one. And the name of this section is, does it have a view? What is a view? Do you know what's a view? Hello? Como ver. Uh -huh, una vista. Have you noticed that, for example, 
when there is an apartment, let's suppose that you live in an apartment and maybe you are in the fifth floor, in el quinto piso, on the fifth floor, and maybe it has a beautiful view. Or when you go to Planet de Renderos okay. in the night, and you see, wow, in the night, a lot of beautiful lights and areas. How do you say? It has a beautiful view. So y hace you can frío see. también. Oh, yeah. it's totally cold. <laughs> and you can eat delicious pupusas too, right? That's a really nice place to go. Also to the park, right? The park that they have there is very nice park. So this is the name of this. Does it have a view? Tiene vista? Like in an apartment, right? Cuando uno busca un apartamento, una casa, también le se interesa en, en la vista. ¿Qué, qué vista tiene? Right? And maybe you can see the beach. Maybe you can see the lake, a river, uh, maybe the forest, the city, the lights that you can observe. So let's go ahead. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about places, different areas, in houses and apartments. So we'll listen and watch about different areas in your house or in an apartment that you can have. For example, here, what area of the house do you see? What is this area of the house? What do you think? Kitchen. It's the kitchen, right? That's very good. What do you think? This area is a small or big? It's small. It can be small, right? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead then. With our video, we're going to watch this. And this one is about vocabulary, house, and apartment. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places. You can listen, right? No problem. Yeah, okay. No problem. Yes, no thank problem, you. teacher. Thank you. And apartments. <laughs> Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so let's verify. The picture that you saw there on the video is this one. As it has different areas from a house and from an apartment. We know that a house probably is big or is small. And an apartment probably is small or big. Well, it depends, right? Also on the area that you have. For example, this house, it says that it has two floors. Tiene dos pisos, dos niveles, right? First floor, so the floor number one, and the floor number two, the second floor. What areas does the first floor contain? What are the areas? Adam, what areas do you observe in the first floor? Uh, dining room. A dining room. Kitchen, dining room and sala. Very kitchen, cocina. 
No, dining room, eh, comedor, living room, sala. Uh -huh. Yes. Laundry eh, room. Laundry room es eh, como... Cuarto de lavado. Ajá, uh -huh, cuarto de lavado. Very Thank good. you. That's nice. Were you washing? Uh, uh -huh. That's good. Yeah. The living room is sala. Um, yeah, the living room. Stairs. What is the meaning of stairs? Grada. Stairs, exactly. Como. You need to walk up, right? To go to the second floor. Those are the stairs. For stairs. Uh -huh. Stairs. 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 Oh. Uh -huh. Garage. In the we have a garage. Floor. Uh -huh, that's yes, you have a yard. Excellent. Look, you have this space of the Patio. yard. That's great. Remember that the yard it can be front yard or backyard. All it depends on what area do you have it right in your house. That's good. Front you. yard. In backyard. Uh -huh. But because it's in the back part of the house. So it can be backyard or front yard. Okay. Let's see, Carlos Arturo. What areas are on the second floor? Uh, three bedrooms, closet, mm -hmm. hall, bathroom. The hall, the bathroom. Um, the stairs. We have the stairs. What yeah, that's good. Hall. Hall. All, hall is like a small area where you walk and you pass. Es el pasillo. pasillo. Exactly, that's correct. So you walk in this okay. line. So it has three bedrooms, that's okay. And remember that in the video also mentioned that every bedroom contains a closet. Okay. So they have their own, right, closets there. So it's a big house. This is a big house. It has house, yes. two floors, yes. What about the apartment? What about it? Juan Antonio? What does bedroom. the apartment contain? Uh, it has a, yes. The bedroom. Bathroom, bathroom. The bathroom. The closet. You have the bathroom. It has a closet, correct? That is the bedroom is inside uh, the bedroom. It has, it has dinner room. It has a dining room where is the table and you can eat. Right dining room. Door. Dining room, very good. It has living room. It has a living room. Very good. Living room. It has kitchen. It has a kitchen. Correct. It's got an elevator. It, it has a elevator. 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 It has an elevator. 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 Uh -huh. elevator. That's good. And what else? Um, lobby. Um, That's on the lobby. first floor, right? And it has the uh -huh. lobby, like to receive That's the people, the right? Lobby. Or the visitors are there. That's correct, good one. So this one, the house looks like bigger, right? But the apartments, yeah. well, all of these areas is more reduced, right? It's the space that we have in an apartment. Now, let's talk about what are the rooms that you have in your house. For example, if I ask what rooms are in your house? My house has three bedrooms. A living room, two bathrooms, two bathrooms. Then it continues. It has a big kitchen and a small garden. Now you are going to describe yours, Veronica Zapeda. What rooms are in your house? Now you describe your house. My house. Yes. Oh, my house has. Mm -hmm. Three bedrooms, okay, a living good. room, a dining a room, room. Excellent. two bathrooms, Excellent. a garage, nice, and two yards, front yard, ah. back yard. And back yard, great. And the kitchen is very small. Very good. It sounds like a big house. That's good. Imagine you have two yards, front yard and the back. That's very good, John. Nice one. Okay. Now let's see. Fatima Araujo. Now, you formulate the question, okay? What rooms are in your house? And you are going to ask the question to analyze it. Fatima? Sí. Fatima? Uh, ¿Me puede repetir, por favor? Ah, sure, yes. You formulate the question to analyze it. What rooms are in your house? 
Let's repeat it. This one. What rooms are in your house? I uh, rooms. Um... Re repeat it. Repeat the question, please. Repeat. Ah, it. What, what rooms, rooms are in are in, in your, your house? house? That's good. Thank you, Ada. Your answer. My house has two bedrooms. Bedrooms. Uh, bedrooms. Bedrooms. Plural. Uh -huh. Good. A uh, living room. Mm -hmm. A bathroom. Very good. It's a little kitchen. A small, a small kitchen. It's a small kitchen. And I don't, I don't have a garden. <laughs> a garden, okay, that's good. You have more I space. Don't. That's all right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Ala. That's good. You're welcome, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos Arturo. You formulate the question to Edith Lorena. <clears throat> what rooms? What rooms are in your house, thank Edith? You. My house has two, two bedrooms. Bedrooms? A uh, mm -hmm. living room, mm -hmm. mm, one bathroom, mm -hmm. it's a small kitchen. It, it has a small kitchen? It has a small. It has a small kitchen and a small garden. Very good. Thank Pero you. como yes. se dice, eh, muy, muy pequeño. <laughs> very, very small. Very, um, very, very small. Very small garden. Very good, thank you. That's all right. Jensi, formulate the question to Christian. What rooms? Jensi? Uh, Repeat the question, please. What rooms are in your house? Uh, what rooms? What rooms are in your house? That's good. Thank you. Chrissy? Uh, my house has three bedrooms, uh, one living room, uh, a, a small kitchen, and a background is small. Also. All right. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Okay. So here we can see the description of the areas of your house. So let's identify here, what areas do you have? For example, this one, what area of the house is this, in this picture? In picture the number bathroom. one. Bathroom. It's the bathroom, right? The bathroom. Yes, excellent, that's very good. What about this area with the dog? The garden. Okay, probably is the garden, probably is the yard, right? Yeah, it can be. That's good. Nice one. Lenin Monterosa. Are you present? Lenin? Lenin? No? Liliana Patricia? Liliana? Are you there? Are you present? Ana Beatriz? No? Hi. Hello, Ana. Tell me, what area of the house is this? Now, picture number five. Is the living room. Is the living room. That's correct. Good one. Okay, so we have these spaces of the house. Now, let's be refined. We also can have <clears throat> about the yes, no questions, but we continue with the simple present. Let's remember what we formulate the question with. We need do or does, that it depends on the subject. Then we have the verb. What is the form of the verb? Do you remember? Classic. The base form, right? That's correct. And then you have the complement or the object and the question mark that is necessary to formulate the question. We have here some of other examples. Simple present, sure, answer. For example, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. Negative? No, I don't. Let's remember here that if you have a short answer, you finish in the auxiliary. So if it's affirmative, yes, I do. If it's negative, you finish in contraction. Contraction is necessary here. No, I don't. What about the next one? Do the bedrooms have windows? 
Yes, they do. Now, my subject is they, because the subject here in the question is plural. If it's negative, no, they don't. Then you have in the third person. Remember third person? You need auxiliary does. What are the subjects we use in the third person? Veronica Alegría? Yes, Hola. Veronica. Hello. Hi, Veronica. Remember Hi. what are the, the subjects that you use in the third person, singular? El, he. Uh-huh. She. Yes. He. And it, excellent, thank you. So they are the third person singular. He, she, it. For example, nice, thank you, Veronica. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. So we finish in the auxiliary here. Now, remember that here, as is a third person form, but you have auxiliary does, the subject is he in this case, but the verb, is base form. Why base form? Because you have auxiliary. So you don't need the verb with the S form. Another example would be, does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. Or no, it doesn't. Now the subject here is the house. As the house is not a person, but it's, it's. something, right? It's a thing, correct? So I need to use the subject it. My form of the auxiliary is does. For the negative, that is does it. Questions about this? No questions? Okay. We are going to pass the attendance list, guys. Let's continue here. Just let me know if you are present. <clears throat> Adalise? Present teacher. Thank you, I saw you, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Ana Beatriz? Present. Yes, I saw you too, Ana Beatriz. Thank you. Angelica Maria? Angelica Maria? Is not present? Carlos Arturo? Present. Thank you. Christian Daniel? I'm here. Thank you. Edith Lorena. Edith Lorena. Thank you, Edith. Fatima Yesenia. Present. Fatima. Thank you, Fatima. Gabriela. Present. Gabriela Abigail. Present me. Thank you. Ibis Areli. Ibis. Ibis Areli. Present, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Ibis. <laughs> Jessica Saray. Present. Thank you so much. Joaquin Jesus. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Adonai. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Juan Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kevin Orlando. Kevin. Oh, yes, I saw Kevin, yes. Lenin Monterrosa? Lenin? Liliana? Liliana Patricia? Lenin mandó un mensaje. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I, I remember I saw Lenin there, thank you. Liliana Patricia? Liliana? Luz Margel? Present. Thank you. Maria de Los Angeles. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Alberto. Mauricio Alberto. Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Olimpia Valeria. Olimpia Valeria. Oscar Esaú. Oscar Esaú. René Alfonso. René Alfonso, Rosana Guadalupe, Rosana Guadalupe, Verónica Cepeda, present, thank you, Verónica Maricela, 
Present. Thank you. Jensi, Alexandra. Santa María. Um, present. Thank you, Jensi. Jessica Esmeralda. Jessica present. Esmeralda. Thank present. you, Jessica. Jessica Rivas. Jessica Rivas. I remember I saw Jessica Rivas. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your attention here to pass the list. Let's go on another topic. Okay, so we are in the yes, no questions. In the ones that you can answer, like affirmative or the negative, and with the short manners. But we have also other type of questions in an exercise here. Here we have another exercise. It says, do you live in an apartment? No, no I, I don't. don't. I don't. Excellent, that's good. No, I don't. We are with the apostrophe, right? Because it's short answer. There we have it. And it continues with more information. What is next? I live. Excellent. Live. Perfect. Really good. I live. I live in a house. Then continues Linda. And what's the question? Das. Das. Excellent. Das. That's it. What yeah. else? Yeah. You need you need a verb. It investigates about the possession. That's it. What verb do you need for possession? El verbo tener. Has. Have. Aquí ya sería have. That's que ya lleva auxiliar. That's good. Yeah. Have. Have. Mm -hmm. Have because you have auxiliary in the question. Uh, so you need the verb, right? Yeah. You need the no verb. Cambia. No change because you have auxiliary, right? Yeah. You have das. Okay. You have das. So <laughs> does it have a yard? Yes, it. What is the rest? Does it have a yard? Yes, it. Yes, it. Have. Das. Das. You need auxiliary because it's short. Siempre que la respuesta sea corta, vamos a llegar hasta la auxiliar. So yes, it. Das. Yes, it does. That's correct. Let's continue yeah. then. It says, in the part of Linda, that sounds nice. And then it's a question. The subject is you. So what is the auxiliary? Do. 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 Perfect. Now my subject is you. So I need auxiliary too because it's a, only a yes, no question. Do you Do live? Alone? Do you live alone? Do Perfect. Live. That's good. It's investigating that. Live. Do you live alone? No. no. I? No, I don't. 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 Perfect. I live with my, fa my family. That is correct. Don't. I live with my family. I live with my family. Perfect. Mm. What is the next? Continue with Linda. And it's another question. Do. Do. do perfect. Do you, my subject. Do you live do you have, any brothers? Do you, do you have? Do you have? Uh -huh. Do you have do you any have brothers? Do you, do you, excellent. Do you, do you have any brothers or sisters? Excellent. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do yes, I. Have. I have. I do. Yes, I do. Short. Yes, I, yes, I do. do. Vamos a utilizar el verbo, vamos a utilizar el verbo cuando la respuesta es completa. Okay. I do. I have si la respuesta es completa, entonces va a ir el verbo. Pero okay. si la respuesta llega a ser auxiliar. Yes, I do. I have. I, excellent. Because now it's complete. It's, in this case, you're giving more information. Aquí se está dando más información. I have four oh. sisters, right? But it's a complete answer. Linda continues, says, that's a big family, and it's a question. It 
in the question. What do you need? What auxiliary do you need? Do. 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 Perfect. Do you? Great. Do you? Do you? Has. Have. Do you have, have a big house? Has. Have. Have. Has. Have. 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 A big the, house. The do you have? Is do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Porque sujeto es you. Has solo va a ser de he, she. Do you have a big house? Yes, we. You. We do. We do. Excellent. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yes. yeah, I know Perdón. you are tired. You are exhausted. Yes, we do. It has. Has. Excellent. Has room. Has Perfect. Room. It has 10 rooms. Really good. It has 10 rooms. 10 rooms? Now you have another question here. Do. Look at the subject. Subject. Das. 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 Excellent. Das. My subject is third person. Oh, so you do das. Does it? Does it have? Das. Have. Das. Why? Because das. you have auxiliary das. So my verb have. is base form. Okay, ya va el auxiliar, right? Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it is. Does. Remember, auxiliary base form. Does. Das. She, uh -huh. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It has. It oh. has. Excellent. Now, it's affirmative. Third person, you need to use the verb in the S form. Okay. It has. It has four. Good one. Okay. Do you, do, do you? Do you? Do you? What else? Do you have? 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 Your own. Your own. Uh -huh, that's good. Your that's own good. bedroom. Do you have your? Uh -huh. So you need the bird cat. Do you have yes, your own I, bedroom? Yes, yes I, I do. Yes, I do. do. Excellent. I'm really lucky. Yes, yes I, I do. Because it's a short I'm answer. Lucky. Yes, I do. Questions about this? So remember here that depending on the subject is the auxiliary. Dependiendo de la, de, del sujeto es mi auxiliar, right? Okay. But these ones are like yes, no questions. You only confirm if the information is affirmative or the negative. Uh, Questions? Uh, no questions? No question. No? Okay, let's continue. Este uh, yeah, because it contains, mm -hmm. so they are very similar. Okay. Let's continue here then. Let's go to watch. Another video. Okay. This is 2.3. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. 
Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be positive by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying, yes, he does, or negative by saying, no, he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, Please share your work in our discussion forums. All right. Now, notice here that you saw like other examples here, but you're investigating about affirmative or the negative questions. Now, we're going to do another practice here. Let's ask some questions here. Uh, for example, if I ask Jonathan. Jonathan, are you present? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, Jonathan. Jonathan, do you live in an apartment? Uh, no. No, I don't. I don't. Excellent. That's good. Okay, let's see. Veronica Cepeda. Do you live in a big house? Yes, I do. Perfect. That's very good. Okay, now let's see. Catherine, Rebecca, you formulate a question to Miguel Antonio. Do you live? Catherine, are you present? No? Veronica? Veronica Alegría? Repeat, repeat la pregunta. ¿Qué tengo que hacer? Hey, you need to formulate a question. You're going to formulate a question asking, do you live in an apartment? Or uh, do you live in a big house, in a small house? Hey, formulate the question to Miguel Antonio. Do you live in a house, Miguel Antonio? Okay, in a house. Miguel Antonio, are you present? Yes, I do. Excellent. That's good, Miguel. Thank you. Luz Garcia. Are you there? Luz Garcia? Yes. Do you have yes. an elevator in house? In your house? In your house. Excellent. Iris, answer. Affirmative or negative? 
Um, eh, me, me estaba dando problema la, el, el internet. ¿Me puede repetir la pregunta, teacher? Oh, yes. Can you please repeat it, Luz? The question. Do you have an um, elevator in your house? Nice. Thank you. Uh, okay. ¿Qué es el elevator que le escuché eh, yo a él? A, ascensor. Ah, perdón. Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. That's very good. Nice one. Jonathan. Jonathan, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Please formulate the question to Lenny. Lenny. Um, you can formulate you... like in there. Mm -hmm. And do you garden in your house? Do you have a garden in your house? Do Lenny? you have a garden in your house? Thank you. That's good. Lenny, are you present? Lenny? No? Wait, sir. Jessica Rivas? Jessica? Ana? Ana Beatriz? No? Yes? Hi. Okay. Hi, Ana. Can you answer the question, please? Does the the answer the answer in the house? I'm sorry. Does Maria live in the house? Live in a house. Okay, then you have a third person form, right? Does Maria live yes. in a house? Ada, how will be the answer? Does Maria live no. in a house? No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't, right? Because it's Maria. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Excellent. That's good. Very good job, guys. All right. We're going to continue on Monday. All right. Teacher. Yes. Eh, me podría enviar el link de la plataforma. Se me perdió en el buscador. Okay, no problem. I send it to you. Thank you. <laughs> hello hello can you listen yes. Yo tengo una pregunta. hello hola hola, hola. Hello. hello tell me tell me eh, eh, tendríamos que llegar ah. a, a hasta traten de, de sí. avanzar eh, lo que puedan de la sección 2, porque hemos hecho sección 1 y hemos avanzado en la 2. Traten de avanzar hasta donde ustedes puedan. Pero no es de terminar toda la 2. Si ustedes okay. pueden, porque hay unos temas que no los han visto, entonces si no los comprenden muy no, bien, no, no. quédense hasta donde hicieron, pero traten de avanzar. Si ustedes pueden más, adelante. Sí, es que en el 2.12, ahí aparece de completarlo con... Con las palabras Ajá. que ya aparecen ahí. Pero yo sí lo yes. puse, pero me salieron malas todas, así casi todas. Y no sé si es así exactamente con esas palabras o cómo. Lo que pasa es que a veces hay que revisar el espaciado. Si, eh, digamos, ha escrito, ha empezado a escribir la palabra o la pregunta y ha ido como un espacio más, se la va a tomar como errónea. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces sí hay que verificar todos esos puntos de gramática y el espaciado. Um, yes. Bye. Okay. okay thank, you. thank you guys. Have a beautiful night. Good night, teacher. Thank you, teacher. See you later. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, sure. Bye. Bye. Bye.